point, said, what's your biggest innovation? And you really kind of got into this whole thing about MLS 3.0 and how you kind of connecting how you built the team to the fans. So why don't you talk about that, but also why that's so different from the way things are done today in MLS? So when I came, I'd, um, I'd had a bit of experience at Tottenham Hotspur where we'd sold some players to, um, to Major League Soccer. So players like Robbie Keane, who went to LA Galaxy. Um, we'd done Jermaine Defoe to Toronto FC. But we'd also done a smaller player called Simon Dawkins to San Jose. And he was, he was someone that was in the second squad at Tottenham. Yeah. And he came over to San Jose, played, had a really good season. And on the back of that, we then transferred him for a, for a decent amount of money in England to right. another club. Yeah. But what that brought to me was the realization that the standard of play in Major League Soccer was getting much better. And as a development league, there was an opportunity to, to make Major League Soccer part of the world landscape. So we talked about Gareth Bale. When I was at Tottenham, we sold Gareth Bale to Real Madrid. At the state, that stage, it was a world record fee. It was about 125 million US dollars. Wow. And he went to Real Madrid. And that happens all the time. And then, you know, at Tottenham, we were buying new players from clubs like Ajax and, and other clubs to, to replenish our right, squad. Right. And, you know, that's how it worked. And I joked with Arthur when we first had that conversation and I was pitching him this idea of what I felt we could do at Atlanta United was basically in the world of soccer, everyone's a selling club unless you're Barcelona. Unless you're very much at the top of the tree, everyone else is a selling club. Of course, since I said that, Barcelona sold Neymar to Paris Saint-Germain right. for a ridiculous yeah. Samia over 250 million. So the reality is everyone's a selling club at, at one level. But what had happened in Major League Soccer is the focus had been on trying to take players that were at the end of their career, really for the marketing aspect. So whether that's a... Uh, Perlo in New York or a Frank Lampard who came from uh, Chelsea or uh, Steven Gerrard who came from Liverpool. The perceived wisdom was you needed those players to market the team and sell tickets. And my view was we could sell and make Atlanta United accessible to those players that were up and coming. So we signed Miguel Almiron, Joseph Martinez and Tito Vialba, all under 24 years of age, yeah. South American players. And I think, you know, with the greatest respect, most of our fans had never heard of them till we signed them. But by the end of the year, they'd scored 40 goals between them. You know, they're clearly amazing players. They're exciting to watch. Miguel Almiron was the top-selling jersey in the whole of MLS. Right. Joseph Martinez was the third-selling jersey in the whole of MLS. So what we showed was you could take players and create stars if you told stories around them. Right. It's all about how, firstly, how good they play on the pitch. And secondly, it's about involving the fans, telling the story, and you can create the stars. It's amazing because you created this massive, this, this incredible brand of Atlanta United, but you created stars and, and the fans just adopted them and they, they're, they're protective of, of them. Yeah. It's, it's, it's an amazing you know, feat. Yeah, that. no, and it was, um, and we've been up front, you know, at some stage they're going to move on and that'll be part of the, you know, part of the story though is they will go on and we will bring in the next new Miguel Almiron or Joseph Martinez and, you know, it's going to be easier for us to do that now because we've shown a proof of concept. We've shown a pathway. You know, now what kid wouldn't want to come to Atlanta United in front of 70,000 crowds? You know, the other big part of the story was Tata Martino as our coach. That's right. And again, that was a good example of taking the sort of perceived wisdom and not taking it at face value. So the thought was foreign managers don't work in Major League Soccer because it's a very different league. We have salary cap rules unlike any other league in the world. It's a different league in terms of travel that you have to do in right. terms of the, you know, you can go from Minnesota like we will on the weekend playing in less than 20 degree weather to Orlando in, you know, 100 degree plus heat. So the perceived wisdom was foreign manager is risky. But actually when you look at it, if the coach is there to coach the players and you provide a front office that, that gives him that experience on, on the MLS rules, it's no different to the rest of the world. You know, in Serie A in Italy, in you know, Bundesliga Germany, in a Premier League, yeah. the club brings the squad together and the coach coaches them. It isn't really that different. Right. So, you know, my view was if we could get the best available coach right. who understood the style of play, that was the most important exciting, attractive soccer that was going to be fun to watch. So Atlanta United would rather win a game 4-3 than 1-0. Right. And we will always play that way. You know, that is the style of play that Atlanta United plays. You know, we just want to be a team that when you switch them on, 
you know you're going to have excitement. Right. You're going to see goals. You're going to have fun because we're in the entertainment industry. You know, why start a team from scratch and try and play boring, defensive, one nil soccer? I mean, it's and your fan base, the fans almost get disappointed with a win of one. It's only one nil. Yeah, but you know, I mean, I, I just think if you're building something from scratch, why not make it exciting? And I think exactly. you know, for Tatar in particular, yes, we made the playoffs. That was amazing to do that as a first team. You know, inaugural season, very difficult to do that. But what is unbelievable, and I think what, when we look back in 10, 15 years' time, we will say is remarkable, is that we scored the fifth most goals ever yeah. in the history of MLS with 70. Our goal difference was plus 30, the fourth best ever in the history of the league. Yeah. And that was pretty amazing, to take a brand new team and make them one of the most excited teams Major League Soccer's ever known. That, I think, was a really big plus and is a factor to the success of Atlanta United because, you know, you can't argue. If you came to an Atlanta United game and you never watched soccer, you could understand that this was pretty exciting. Yeah, when you right. got Miggy running at full pelt, you got Joseph scoring hat-tricks every other week. You know, it just right. is something pretty incredible. Yeah.